For this week's video, we're going to be going over champions a little bit differently. We're going to be talking about underrated champs that can take down the titans within their rules. Just about every week, we always cover what the strongest picks are, but we never tell you what to pick into them. So, let's get started. The current titans of the top lane consist of Darius, Camille, Mordekaiser, and Fiora. These champions have something in common that let them run the top lane, and that is pure brute force. All of the four champions listed are meant to run in and dominate lanes with their very strong early game damage that then scales extremely well. The counter to their gameplay though is the ability to kite and having a kit that excels versus enemies running into them. And that is why our first counter to this champion pool is going to be Vayne. Vayne is a very good top laner in the sense that she is known for kiting and baiting fights from enemies who want to give chase. The ability to create space with Condemn and Tumble in and out of fighting range is truly annoying for these top lane juggernauts to deal with. Vayne matches their strong early game by having a range advantage over them and also by outscaling them if played properly, which means not dying to ganks. All in all, a powerful counter into these titans. The second counter pick we recommend is Ergot. Let's open our minds for a second and talk about the second point we just made about having a kit that wants enemies to dive in. Ergot's E is literally just that. When the enemy ghosts, flashes or dashes in, Ergot is ready to either buffer the CC with his E or dash right in to flip them and turn their engage onto his head. Yet again, being ranged is a key advantage to beating the top lane titans, but at the end of the day, it's all about individual player skill and your ability to space and beat them. Now next up, do bear in mind that this is just a suggested champions list. Click on the link in the description box below right now to sign up to GameLeap.com and master every single champion covered in this video. We've got hundreds and hundreds of guides authored by challenger coaches for every role and scenario you can think up. We're talking macro guides, champion specific courses, learning deep dives and more. So again, hit the link below right now to sign up and jumpstart your grind to masters. Next up, time for the mid lane. The titans of mid lane are going to include Aurelian Sol, Twisted Fate and Ari. All three of these champions are able to consistently shove waves and roam to great effect but their weakness lies in their ability to fight in lane when engaged upon. That's why Tristana mid is our top tier choice, as she has the ability to provide a ton of burst damage early, and she can force fights with her W. A simple but extremely effective tip for Tristana mid players is to simply buy Vamp Scepter, just to get that little bit of lifesteal versus these wave clear mages, as you will need the healing to stay at high health, thus allowing you to keep on forcing all ins. Simply wait for the Titan mid to use its wave clear ability, such as Aurelian Souls E or Twisted Fate's red card, to jump in. And that ability being down for them means an easy trade pattern for you. Next up, Corky is also quite good as our second counter pick because just like Tristana, Corky can W in to gap close and start firing down autos and abilities on the mages to reclaim lane control. Corky is also a very solid pick because of his ability to not only match the poke damage versus these titans, but he can also force zone them with package, allowing your team to easily reposition to where they want to be, or they can follow up when you engage. A tip for Corky mid when playing versus Aurelian Sol, TF, and Ari is to build a Hex Drinker. Unlike Tristana, Corky does not benefit as much from lifesteal, so it is better to spend your gold on AD, magic resist, and a shield passive. Next up, we've got the ADC role, and this one is a little bit curious. ADC is very strange as the titans in this role kind of counter each other already, but we will list one champion that beats Jinx, Draven, and Twitch at the least, and that is Jin. The Sniper King has returned yet again. This time Jin players are building Hubris into Crit, which allows Jin to take control of the early game weaknesses of Jinx and Twitch and use Hubris as a way to scale alongside them with the stacking AD. Versus Draven, Jin must wait for his jungler and support to work together to try and one-shot him, and after that, it's all about snowballing, so the end goal is just about the same. Double Lift has recently hit Challenger yet again, and if you look at his OPGG match history, you will see him dropping nukes on Jin with double-digit kills in every game. So, by all means, pick this champ up and grind you some of that easy LP. In the jungle, the titans of this role are gonna be Skana, Belveth, and Viego. These champions are designed to be high tempo 
and can change the ability to be aggressive, gank heavy, or farm heavy. That being said, however, when it comes to fighting, these champions really excel at one thing, and that is going in. That is the weakness we are looking to exploit as our first counter pick will be Shaco. To be specific, we are talking about AP Shaco, not AD. AP Shaco is very solid as a counter pick to these champs because of its ability to match their early game jungle clear with his own box setup. And as the game progresses, his boxes do all of the work as they deny any form of overchase during an extended fight, which Skana, Belveth and Viego all want to engage in. If you set up boxes quickly enough on one side of the map beforehand, preferably the one with the objective, then you can easily have your teammates walk up without the fear of them getting caught. Just make sure to tell them to play around the boxes and be at your position one minute early. The second counter pick versus these mid lane titans will be Kindred. Kindred is really good because she can also match what these champions want to do and whoever gets the lead can really run with it. However, if that is the case, then why is Kindred not in S tier with the other titans herself? Well, without going too deep on that, Kindred does have her own different sets of weaknesses as well, one of which being very, very squishy, but that is where she finds strength versus the Titans. How well you use Kindred's ultimate and jungle tempo will decide how hard you can beat these champions, as Belveth and Viego desperately need kills and resets to reach their full potential. As Kindred, you can deny them that satisfaction, and versus Skana, you are basically in ADC anyways, so you can build Lord Dominic's regards and shred him as you would any other ADC. And finally, that brings us to the much beloved and highly appreciated support role. However, support does not have any titans at the moment, as anything is viable and everything has a counter. No one champ stands out above the rest anymore, but we will throw out some honorable mentions. First to Blitzcrank, who is the perfect pick to counter enchanters and squishy teams. His ability to insta-lock someone down is nutty, and if played properly, you can flash E, Q, R combo and ensure your team gets one kill every time you have flash in lane. Honorable mention number two goes to Janna, as she is the very best pick you can ask for versus a team full of divers. If your ADC is Jinx or any ADC that does tons of DPS but lacks the ability to live versus gap closes and assassins, then Janna can do her job extremely well to cover up that weakness. The last support honorable mention is going to go to Braum. Braum is simply the melee form of Janna, as in he thrives off of being a counter pick against hard engaged comps and especially engage supports. Being able to dash to your ally who got engaged on and then put up a wall to block incoming damage is awesome. Pair it alongside the slow and stun that Braum offers and any melee champion that enters your range will be slowed and frozen for a while. Keep in mind that all all of the three champions listed for support are purely for counter pick. Outside of Blitzcrank, do not go blind picking Janna or Brob as a support. You have certain conditions that need to be met from the enemy team, and if they are satisfied, then you can play your heart out and full deny any possibility of your team suffering from draft gap. And that is going to do it for this happy little video, man. If you feel like we missed any crazy underrated champs that are doing work for you in the current patch, make sure to drop them down below in the comments. And you know what? While you're down there, why not head on over to the description box, hit the link at the top of the description and sign up to gameleap.com where we have hundreds of challenger guides waiting for you to help assist you in your ranked grind this season. But now thanks for watching, do please enjoy the rest of your day and we shall catch all of you guys in the next one.